So if you saw that uh, that I already inserted here, uh, 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 open layer batch number uh, five dot uh, three dot zero, basically it's five dot three dot one. You can even do, and then you see the the prime and z icons and prime and z the the JavaScript components to the to the my my dependency injections. So that what I need. Maybe you need more. You just input here and run the npm i start and automatically imported or injected to the to the node node modules and you can integrate the, the libraries and components into the your applications now this is the project structure that's that's the that's that's at the moment as i have it maybe in the, in the later the later version when i start the development maybe i need third party maybe chat ng chat or ng bootstrap those type of javascript components i need to be my application to make it really beautiful or flexible or dynamic uh, ui or front end developments that's the idea so now here you see there's some 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 mock-up that's i at the moment what i have it in the in my this is the one of the mock-up uh, presentation or mock-up uh, settings for the for the geo part this is the hard-coded values when the real application running, when you have a register your plots, a register your buildings, floors, or units, even though register your users and addresses, then those information has to be presented here, visualized by maps with like this way. So like address and plots, and buildings, floor and units. And then I started to how the, the open layer uh, JavaScript library integration with my applications. That's I I will show you in the later screencast how is it done hard coded when the complete application when like the registration process is all registration process done then there is a special buttons you just click it and which part you want the address shows then it automatically show the address even though when click one of the one of the features one of the doesn't matter is the buildings or, or buildings or plots or, or even the address and even though floors and units and you click it and you visualize your the detailed information about the buildings floors and, and floors or units this is the the plan for the application but at the moment i will try to give it to you idea how the geo portal uh, geo portal how you the open layer maps integrate to the application how the mobile layer libraries to use to those type of geometries or those type of yeah, features like line points polygons features and how how efficient it is to build those applications with the uh, with the open layers and then here i can say thanks uh, just uh, just follow the the previous screencast and subscribe my channels and write down your comments and maybe that helps really a lot to to share our knowledge with each other and and i promise you that will be the really multiple screencast and it's 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 it take times it's a really enterprise application this is the really professional applications i try to give it to really beginner level like uh, give it a theory how the enterprise application when we start to the enterprise application development what resources need to be think about what the development resources or if the mean the persons even though what technologies we need to uh, think about what's the framework we need to be think about what the programming language we need to be think about that one and what's the uh, the, the third party libraries need to be what's the licensing possibility need to be think about because as a developer you don't need to think about everything but as a as a full stack developer if you are working a really small company then you are responsible to think all the part of the of the applications that means you 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 make a plan the requirement plans you make it them um, and the specification plans uh, from the from the from the end clients and then you build the codes and development done and you go to the maintenance phase and the operation phase that means all phase if you're a small company, then you need to be all operation need to be done. That's why the the the, the screencast from my side is look like some lot of beginners and a lot of uh, view subscribers say, oh, it's just a professional applications. We need to be really carefully understand or carefully go. Yes, that's true because I try to put it from the for a very beginning level to the very professional level. Means maybe who is working with five years or ten years with these technologies and tools and, and, and concepts just please subscribe the channels and continue the to, to view 
to, to, to see the, the screencast and you get the really clear idea of what is done. So now, uh, bye and goodbye, goodbye. Thank you.